Yeah, I think it was a lot to learn from the game. Obviously, there was a lot of um, positives in the sense that the younger guys like Achiso and, and, and Riza um, performed well. Riza had a good start with the bat. And, I think it was just a good uh, effort for all of us to just get a bit of an outing within the uh, in the 2020 format under that pressure and, and to uh, to get the guys playing together. As you say, there was a lot of positives in the sense that we I thought we we bowled well, responded well after the, the initial start that they had. You know, we were under pressure. I think at one stage we would have chased 230. So to get them down to 180 was was a was a great effort to come back. Um, and in the batting front, we had good starts, but um, you know I think we would have liked to have had a couple of more constructive partnerships going into the last last five overs, and so maybe we, we lost too many wickets in, 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 the, in the batting. Yeah, there is. There's a bit of excitement. There's a bit of exuberance of youth. Um, yeah, you just sense that there's a lot of energy around the camp, and and which is exciting. It's nice to be part of, nice to be around. But you know, um, it's uh, there's a lot of work left. What I say, we've got a day left for for uh, for practice tomorrow before Wednesday's game, and I'm sure we've sort of ticked most most boxes. Tomorrow will just be another opportunity to fine tune those uh, those smaller skills, and then as I say, the guys are just really looking forward to to get stuck in. No, look, it's uh, from a personal point of view, you know, it's. Uh, it's an opportunity to represent South Africa in a T20 game. Um, I mean, there's been some discussion about that there's it's a warm-up for ODI series and all that type of stuff, and I don't think there's anything um, close to that. You know, the guys really respect the fact that it's an honour to play for South Africa, and we want to try and win the series. Simple as that. I just I think it's obviously a lot more fast-paced, but um, the fact that we will be challenged to try and adapt to. to to various situations in the game and be flexible in, in what we have to um, execute in those different phases of the game. So, you know, there'll be a lot of pressure and you know that the game turn, turns every two or three balls. So uh, the guys need to think on their feet and we need to be street smart. And um, obviously Adelaide itself is a, is a bit of, you know, change in the sense that the, whole, the ground has been revamped. I think capacity is about 60 or 55,000 or something. So that in itself is, is uh, an exciting spectacle to, to look forward to. Um, so yeah, the guys are really up for it and, and, and ready to go.